Hello and welcome back to Fire Emblem 3 Mystery of the Emblem. Semi-blind Iron Man. Chapter 17, Winged Knights. Macedonia is Minerva and Maria's homeland. It is the birthland of flying dragons and is widely known for being a peaceful and rich kingdom. But the ambitious Prince Michel ignored his sister's opposition and aided Dehura with its ambitions. He led the Macedonian Dragon Knights to attack numerous countries, and still fear in the people. And right now, he's gathered his soaring army to fight a final battle with Marth. I'm gonna say, good luck beating Marth. He's kind of really good. Here's the boss, here's Michelle. He has an Iot shield to prevent bonus damage. He has 30 attack, 20 defense, 5 effective speed. His Dragon Knights have 20 attack, 15 attack on the Pegasus Knights, but they're all carrying javelins. Oh, you have a Dragon Whip. Horsemen with silver bows. Two of them, I guess. You have your blow. Okay. And this village here. This is where Marth needs to go to get Starlight. This thief really wants to get to that village himself. I don't remember what's in those shops. So what I did in the, what I did in the first game is gonna work here because we don't have the defense glitch. Because what I did was I sent my defense boosted Tiki and Bantu. I warped them here and just blocked everyone in because these are block tiles. You can't fly out of them. And so I just blocked everyone in, because their defense was so high, no one even attacked them. I mean, that could work. It's only, what, 16 from them, 20 from the horsemen, 20 from these guys. So I think, what, Bantu's defense is 14? 6... Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, that's if I put him, like, here. So if I put him, like, here, just outside, that'll drag everyone out, that'll thin the herd. Yeah, that's my plan. Okay, first, I want to just make sure of something here. Hamern. Actually, Sheeta has 14 defense as well. If only I had a way to boost defense even more. Just a little extra defense goes a long way. Because Sheeta could actually do something with those level ups. I gave her the star and light orbs. And Gradivus. Uh, 
Yeah, if I did that... Her stats are insane. And so that was, what, 29 hit points? Oh, but the, the problem is... the archers. That's the real problem, is those dang archers. Yeah, I think the Bantu strat is the better one. Staff, first of all, Boa has the warp staff, so I don't forget that. Kane, uh, you need that uh, night proof. I don't think there was any other promotions I needed. Can... Take the member card. Okay, so here's a question that I have. Who's gonna use Starlight? Because <laughs> I hope that's not Linda exclusive. I guess if it is Linda exclusive, I can just beef her up with... Uh, what's it called? Pure water. That should be it. Um, where are you going? Gotcha, the Allied army has come. This place is going to become a battlefield. Please leave to safety. I understand. But Michelle, you truly are a fool. What did you, why did you call me a fool? Love Minerva, and she deeply respects you. Since you were young, you two both discussed the future of this country and put much effort into both martial arts and study. With their combined strength, Macedonia would become a strong, eventually become a strong country as Akanea. However, you let yourself be deceived by God after becoming obsessed with pointless ambition, which would lead this country down the path of ruin. It's already in the past. I never betrayed me and betrayed this country. But Gato, I haven't lost yet. I still have the Macedonian royal family's treasured IO shield. With this, I needn't fear even arrows. That boy, I will s personally slay Arisha's Marth for you to see. That is my final will as king of as king of Macedonia. Really, I have nothing more to say. Go. Shale, go and punish yourself for the crime of killing your own father. Yeah, I don't know if they ever talk any more about it, but yeah, Shale killed his father uh, pretty brutally, apparently. Okay, so trying to get to the village is a difficult task. Trying to get there in time. Normally difficult, at least. And how much as I'd love to spam the light orb and much I'd love to spam Gradivus with the light orb and star orb. I think I think I do want to get starlight. Dragon up! Divine Dragon Metamorphosis. Ok. 
Okay, and then we Fire Dragon. So you have 36 hit points and 14 defense. Yes, I was right. Okay, so as so long as they don't have any attack speed, which it doesn't look like any of them do. Let's see, what was that? Um, 12... 18... 20, 21, 22... 26, 28... 34... Wait, how many hit points? 36? 36, okay. Okay, so the base of the stairs right there is my target. Well, Godspeed, Bantu. I hope I did my math right. Weapon level up. Great. Great job. Oh, a house. It seems that a great bishop resides in the northern village, but he doesn't like humans, so he doesn't speak with anybody. Eh, fair enough. Don't really blame him. People can rush up this way. Cheney should have transformed into someone by now. Yes, actually, I can have Cheney move this way and transform into promoted Abel of Kane. I keep mixing the two up. Gosh dang it. Doesn't help that their map sprites look the same. Two, three, three, two, six, one. And the transformation is so good, we're gonna see it twice. Cheney, comma. Cheney, Palad. Paladin Metamorphosis. Oh, you keep your experience when you grow up. That's nice. So yeah, if Kane's lacking anything, it's defense. And luck, I guess. So I'm not sure if it's actually possible to stop the thief without... Warp. So we'll see if I need to warp anyone else. We'll also see how the enemy reacts to one angry dragon. Oh shoot. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. I. I had planned for everything. But I didn't plan for Michaelis leaving the throne. I forgot, he did do that in Fire Emblem 1, didn't he? Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. I don't believe he did that in Shadow Dragon. Where's that Michaelis? Wait a second, I'm very confused. Confused right now. I also kind of. Okay, so I might not have mathed correctly. Mm. Might have miscounted the steps. Oh, 
Pegasus Knights can't reach him. I should one-shot these. Bantu! You and I need to have words. Harsh ones. Yeah, now that I think of it, you know who would have been really good here? Lorenz. He takes literally one damage from these horsemen. Um, okay. Yeah, that's Michaelis! That is certainly Michaelis. Or Michelle. Whatever his name should be. Um. Michelle equals dead Bantu. He also moves first. Has 30 attack and 5 attack speed. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Like, I can heal him. And keep him alive for as long as possible, but... Really, there's not much I can do. There is unfortunately not much I can do now that I've gotten him in this situation. Here's the deal. You need to kill that horseman at least. He still dies unless he somehow dodges attacks, which I don't think he can do. But at the very least, he doesn't immediately die unless he gets crit. Which. It is Michaelis. That is a very strong enemy. This could be a problem. Let's see, if I need to warp someone else, who do I warp and where? defense. Okay. Now let's see how badly I die. Also those forts in within the big fort area. Will spam reinforcements. Nova. I still haven't lost. I'll show you to fear the Macedonian Dragon Knights. Hit. Good. At the very least, you've made Michaelis. Never mind. Never mind, he's not weakened. He's definitely at full strength. Hey, horseman retreats. 
these dragon knights don't know how to... 1% chance of survival? Nope. Bye, Ban Ban. Cheeky. Forgive me. Um. What are they doing? What? Are they. Why are they. Is their AI literally just to clump up around Michaelis? Because that's rude. That's so rude. Okay, so that mountain square is where I can't reach. 14 defense. Wait, how much luck did she have? I'm sure she has enough. Oh, 20 luck. Can't be crit. 6 damage plus... 16 is 22. Let's see, that's one... Kind of with my finger. 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ten. Attack there. But then I can only get attacked by... Michaelis. One might say that this is turning south. One might say that it already turned south, and I'm just now experiencing it. One might stay. One might say I still have hope. One might say it was pointless to send these units to the left. I would agree with that person. But they're already there, so it's faster to bring them up to the left than it is to bring them down back to the right. Well, at least I kept Bantu, long in the Bantu alive long enough to recruit Tiki. That's all I really needed him for. Although it was really nice having him to help just tear apart and be a wall. Yeah, Lorenz would still have died because I didn't realize Michaelis would freaking move! And had I given Lorenz the light orb and star orb and Gradius to try and pump out some extra Gradius damage, Oh, nice. <laughs> nice crit. Strength up, weapon level up. Take the Iot shield. My dreams have been shattered. Forgive me, citizens of Macedonia. Your dreams have been shattered, all right. Good healer. Good. Good use of your heal staves. Yeah, had I given the Lorenz the Light Sphere, Star Sphere, 
and what the freak is it called? Uh, Gradius. Gradivus. Um, he would have only taken one from the other enemies, but he still would have gotten doubled by Michaelis for 11 damage twice. Which, while not being instant death, would be very close to it. But yes, as you can see, getting to this village without warping to kill the thief is a bit difficult. I'll take your dragon whip. Whip it. Whip it good. And now that Michaelis is dead, they're just on a mad suicidal charge. Sure. Tiki, could you gain defense, please? I should be okay now. I think Marth can even reach the village this turn himself. Okay, he can. Good. We're gonna do that. Lord Marth, I'm Gato. Welcome here. Really? You fulfilled our promise and brought the Star Warp and Lido up here. Excellent. Then I can create the only spell that can penetrate math. Starlight Explosion. Very well, take this and use this to defeat the evil priest Garnef. Starlight obtained! It's weapon level 9. Anyone can use it. Which means Wendell will get his chance to face off against the might of Garnef, I guess. Okay, before I move my healers, Eight hit points and fourteen defense. It's twenty-two. Sadly, not enough to one shot with. Okay. I'm trying to see who the dangerous enemies are here. And that certainly includes. All the Draco Knights, because they deal 8 damage to Tiki each. If Tiki somehow had to take on everyone. And if, okay, if we can kill these two pretty easily. That's 4, 8, 12, 16, 19, 22, 25, 33. That's unfortunately lethal. This chapter, man. This chapter is rather difficult. Okay, so that's two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Seven plus six is seventeen. Okay, Sheeta can definitely take them all on. Of course, that also means that Gradius dies with her. Not dies, but... Gradius will be used up. Quite a bit, at least. Maybe not all the way. That is a lot of experience. A lot of... Wonderful, wonderful experience. EXP. Positioned here, I don't think she can be hit by the Cavaliers. And that's, once again, say it with me. EXP.
I might pull a few people around. This way. Are multiple people damaged? Or is it just Minerva and Tiki? It's just Minerva and Tiki, okay. Oh shoot. My inability to micro a menu might get someone killed today. I really hope it doesn't. I want Tiki to survive. Okay, she at least reached full hit points. Why is there this random fort on the left? Hmm. In my experience, random forts tend to mean reinforcements. I don't believe I need anything from any shop. I think I can beat the rest of the game with the items I have. Let's see what the AI wants to do. It wants to attack Minerva. Even though I know for a fact it can't kill her. AI is making questionable decisions at best. Seems to be a common trend. Going after Marth, I can understand why they want to do that. I guess they're attacking the people who can't attack back, or the people they can do the most damage to. Well, do they attack the people they can do the most damage to whilst not taking as much, if any, damage. Is the general tactic of the AI, if I understand it correctly. And giving Marth that dragon shield was the right decision. Level 19. Still no defense. And the Star Sphere is no more, so no sick buffs. But Marth can chew through an entire squadron. A level 20, speed defense, hit points. Yes, 13 defense. Nice. I think that means Marth is capped. Yes, he is. Well, this is how my Marth looks. Pretty darn good. A little low on skill. Would have liked him to have more defense. But honestly, I can't really complain. It is a very good Marth. Tiki can't kill in one shot, unfortunately. Can defeat the Dragonite though. And just like that, the chapter is basically done. Except for the fact that there's probably going to be reinforcements showing up. Just to ruin my day. I don't believe the Night Killer is effective against horsemen. Should still be. That should still be a kill. I'm not worrying about math as if he had 30 hit points. No, he had 27. That's definitely a kill. Take the silver bow. Let's 
the rest of my units can move forward and kill. Everyone stabs each other. Yeah. Kachu is not reaching 20. There, there's... Uh, there's there's no way she reaches 20. I'm probably just gonna charge Marf towards the throne now. Just end this map as quickly as possible. Which... Hopefully won't come back to bite me. I feel like I really should clean up these enemies back here, though. I shouldn't just leave them all alive. Why not? Miracle Sword one-shots. I'm addicted to this thing. check what's in the shop to see if it's worth buying anything. What would you like? Keys and potions. Should be fine on those. What would you like? I'm good on spells and staves. I really wish I knew where all the secret shops were. As the armory, what do you want? Um, thank you, sir. Is that a waste of money? Because I want to buy Dragon Killer Swords. Because I know that I'm going to be fighting so many dragons in the end game. Unless they skip those maps, in which case I don't know anything. Wait, that is Chaney. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna buy some more silver lances and dragon killer swords, I think. Silver Lances. I think I have enough, but I just want to be sure. And yes, I know the Silver Cards on Katria, but I don't know if she'll be able to make it in time. I feel like the Secret Shop is... If there is a Secret Shop here, it's going to be like inside here somewhere, like here? I'll check for it, but I doubt I'll find anything. Fly, Tiki. Fly. And kill the thief. I think you can kill the thief. Oh, you definitely can kill the thief. You can crit the thief. Here comes the moment where everything could fall to pieces. I don't want everything to fall to pieces, so I will be careful and cautious. I will not rush in until I 
can at least block some of the fort so I won't get completely surrounded. Don't want another Navarre situation happening. So they don't get killed, I guess? Hmm, weird. Okay. Not moment of truth yet. Like I should put her more centered. Check more squares. Yeah, not taking any chances with these forts. Movement animation is still cool. He's so weak, I think. I was gonna say, I think Kane can take him on. But he would still need a little bit more help. Mostly crits. Which he doesn't, unfortunately, but... How it is. Abel, however, should be able to finish off with a javelin. Goodbye, Dragon Knight. Hello, experience. I want to kill this guy just to make sure that he's not standing on a possible location of the secret shop. That would be just like this game to be... Oh! Like, like it, otherwise it makes no sense. Why did he move? Why did he move? Well, no secret shop. Sure. Take out your anger by stabbing a bishop in the face. Yeah. Mm, doesn't do much. Still kind of upset. Seize the throne. Prince Marth have already found the location of Thebes, in the far north of Cadane, at the Marmotor Desert. There appears to be an illusion town. But those who went to Thebes never came back, so what will you do? I must go there, to reclaim the Falchion and rescue my sister. G rescue my sister. Garnef, watch me. I won't let this beautiful world fall into your hands. And we win! Sorry, Bantu. I didn't know that... Like, I could have healed him up, and he'd be just fine. If Michaelis didn't move... But Michaelis decided to move, and everyone swarmed in. That was weird. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. This has been Mithra Zenith. Hope you enjoyed Fire Emblem 3 Semi-Blind Iron Man. Join us next time as we fight Garneth. Thanks. This is Mithra Zenith signing out.